Nike by you. That's what's in this box. It's the third pair on the channel. I like all of my creations. But this one just came in and I haven't looked at the final result until now with y'all. This is this is almost like a live thing, but it's not live. Welcome cool cats and doggies to another episode of Finger Sneaks. Today we'll be going with the Nike by you dunk high. We're gonna figure out a nickname as we go through the show. If you're new to the channel, make sure you like, subscribe, and turn that notification bell to catch all the content we have on the channel. At the end of the video, make sure you leave a comment below if you bang with them. I, of course, bang with them. I created them. I fathered these joints. I brought these joints to life. But, like, I want to know how y'all feel at the end of the video. Make sure to check me out on all social media platforms like Instagram, Twitter, Snapchat, Facebook, TikTok. I'm out here. But let's hop into the review of this nice, clean shoe that could be nicer. But we'll get into that right now. ED box. Nike by you box. All white. On the tag, though, it says Nike by you, Shafiq. They don't talk about the colors because these are special customized shoes. Big Feet Gang, salute, salute, salute. I did it. I can't, I can't do it kind of like a nice shoe, yo. Banger schnitzel? I mean, when I give you the inspiration for this joint, you could be like, yeah, Chef, I think you want to something. Because I'm on to something. No, I'm talking about. Open up the box, right? <laughs> Ooh. Open up that box. It says one-on-one -on, -one on the paper paper and they do a lot of other stuff but yo let me know off rip if y'all know the inspiration on these joints right here yo because i think some of y'all out there gonna say this one's better than the one that i just reviewed and i'm gonna obviously show y'all that one again this joint right here my guys my girls my dogs and dudettes all them cool guys out there all right y'all gotta let me know if y'all banging with this you <laughs> See, I'm looking at the camera, but I want to more look like here and go, nee. This is the Nike by you Dunk High. Still working on the nickname. Nike comes out a couple months. It's been a while since they did this, but last year they did a Nike Dunk Low for America, and I made my own plum from the Ugly Duckling pack because that shoe is like 600 bucks in my size, and I'm not paying that. Then they came out with the Nike Dunk High. You had to be on your Nike account, not your sneakers account. Check your account, and then they let you know if you made access or not. You had like an hour or tw up to 24 hours to make a pair of shoes. And I told all my friends about it, and no one wanted to make them because they don't listen. Then I told them, hey, you should give it a go. You can make any inspiration that you want, or you could mimic a shoe that you don't have. And my inspiration was to mimic a shoe that I don't have. So if you look here, this is almost like my own variation of a UNC Air Jordan 1 High. If you don't know, Dunk Highs and Air Jordan 1s are a little different, but they are similar as well. And I don't have the UNC pair that came out from last year, so I made this one. They are coming out with another pair of like UNC ones this year, but that's a different color block and I'm copying those as well. But these remind me of, actually these remind me of the pair from this year. Because I didn't want to put as much blue as the pair from last year. Pictures will be on the screen for you to see last year's pair. Now I'm over here considering do I have to go and make another pair if I get access to make those. Or if I eventually will buy them off of Gold or Stock X or something. Maybe I'll do a trade. That might be most feasible and affordable for your boy. But this shoe right here I think is super clean. If you are aware of Jordan 1's, this is probably my favorite color blocking for Jordan 1's. Black toe? This is black toe, right? That's hollow. Yo, it's like three different ways to make ones, and sometimes I forget. I believe this is how black toes are made. This is also supposed to be semi ignorant on the matter, so someone would be like, How do you not know with all those shoes? I'm doing it on purpose. This is how we community build. Hit the comments below and let's chop it up like a chopped cheese, but I'm from Philly, so it's a Philly cheese steak not a chopped cheese and then i don't eat beef so it's chicken so it's, good. so it's a chicken philly cheese steak let's start with the materials at the top of the shoe you are greeted with suede now during this customization moment they only allowed you to put suede on two different parts your toe cap and your eyelid so i did that for the high they only allowed you to put leather everywhere else so it's leather everywhere else on the lows however they allowed you to put leather everywhere and then i believe for your eyelids they allowed you to put tweed but 
and then put tweet. This is just all leather shit. So all black suede for your toe cap, and then you're greeted with this blue leather. As you head towards the middle of your shoe to finish off part of that toe cap, you still have that suede, and then the eyelets come in, you see that here, and they're suede as well. In the middle of your shoe, you have white leather, and you have all black leather Nike swoosh. Heading towards the back of your shoe, you're introduced with more of that UNC blue. You have black for your collar, and then you have a black heel tab. Now, I should have pulled this out on the last video, but I didn't have them yet. So I should have showed you all the example I will in this video. This one has your small little heel tab, and I left that black. This one has the long elongated heel tab, and I put shaft on it. They only allows you to put four letters on here, so I couldn't put Fegan Sneaks, but I did put Shaft. That's one of my nicknames. Shaft. You know what I mean? That's me. Actually, I almost want to put the other pair up here just to let you see the differences because they're similar, but they're not. This one has a black tongue. I made a white tongue on this one. This one also has a black Nike tongue tag, and this one does too because whatever color I chose, maybe it was the swoosh. The swoosh and the tongue tag had to have the same color. But this one has a white tongue and this one has a black tongue. But the color blocking is similar, so y'all let me know which one you like better. You can't really see it the laces are so damn dark but yeah black tongue and white tongue i know someone might be like the white lets it pop more i get it and i and i understand it black flat laces i wish they gave you the secondary color to have like if i had baby blue laces i'm definitely throwing that in but they don't have those a black insole with nike and white i wish they allowed me to put baby blue there just like i i wish they allowed me to put pink in this one but they didn't it is what it is a white midsole and then this baby blue also is nice, yo. I know some people say this is the best outsole of all time. I don't know about that, but it's definitely one of the best looking outsoles of all time. No need to do a to my calculations today. That's when I go over price points because this doesn't have a price point. I incorrectly said in the last video that this only cost me $135 and after shipping $147, but I believe after taxes and shipping, they both actually cost me like $162. If you're going out there and buying lesser dunks, what I mean by that is the leather is not the best, but it's more elevated than a uh, leather that you may get on like a Panda or something. If you're willing to go pay for a, a lesser shoe material wise, then you should definitely try one of these if you ever get access again. There's a stigma that dunk highs aren't cool, but they're not far away from Jordans. And I think they're nice. And if I'm able to get something for a cheaper price point, just because people don't like the silhouette, and still not feel like I'm like doing myself a disservice, then I'm copping. So I made two of these. I made both of these the same day. One for my account, one for my boy BT's account. Good looks, BT. Gang, gang, gang. You know what it is. But yeah, he didn't charge me nothing extra. Why would he? He didn't want it, but he had access. I just paid him for the shoe, and he shipped them to the Addy. You know what I mean? So now I got them in the crib. Now I got two pairs. I need to know. Maybe I probably freeze this for the thumbnail, maybe. I'm definitely not doing that. Y'all let me know which one y'all like better. So this one I call Majin Buu. I guess I'm gonna call this one. Uh, I still don't know. But uh, grading it, this one's more, this one's higher than this one. Grading it, this is a 10 or a nine. It's a nine because I can't put more suede here. If I had more suede here, this would be a 10. The color blocking I think is fire though. Only thing why it's not a 10 is I couldn't change the tongue tag. I couldn't add more suede. And I might have put in double laces, like some baby blue laces. But a nine, I think I did a hell of a good job right here. Y'all gotta let me know in the comments how your boy did. Because I think I was out here. I think I was cooking in the lab, Chef Boy I Feek. You know what I mean? But yeah, y'all let me know which one is your favorite. And to the next video, I'm gonna holla at y'all. Bye-bye. It's just a nice. I just don't know what to call these blue ones. Bye-bye. But I'm definitely gonna make a third one if I get another pair. I just stop sleeping on Dunk High Show. Yeah, I gotta stop sleeping on them. Oh uh, yeah, I was doing. I'm doing a review. <laughs>